With the deep freeze gripping our region, people are doing their best to stay warm. Now, as reporter Trang Doe has been braving the cold all morning long in Center City. Trang, good morning. How are you holding up? Hey, good morning, guys. I'll tell you, a down coat and wool socks were a great investment. They're going to be your friends today. I have, as you can see, many, many layers on, and they're really keeping me warm right now. But I'll tell you, it's my face that really hurts. You know, you're outside with this exposed skin. Definitely need one of those Eagles face masks. And so we caught up with some people overnight who were out and asked them how they're dealing with this bitter cold. Bundled up and bracing for impact, bitterly cold temperatures have gripped the Philadelphia area, prompting people to pack on the layers. You gotta have the, the hand warmers, gotta have a hat, sweatshirts, hoodies, gotta have the jumpers, you know, the, the thick down jackets, gotta have your thermals on, gotta be loaded up for this weather. It's too cold out here. Temperatures dropped into the single digits overnight, but feel sub-zero when you factor in the wind chill. I just came from Florida today. Oh. That's crazy, man. It's too cold here. What was the temperature down in Florida compared to coming up here? Man, it was 70 degrees. I'm nuts to come down here. While some call the extreme cold crazy, this man is cashing in. Doing a little bit of Uber, you know. It's cold outside, getting these people home safely, doing what I can do. A lot of shorter rides just because people ain't trying to walk them three or four blocks like they usually will so it's cool though business is booming still others are coming up with creative ways to keep warm so i have to ride my bike to work in the morning and i'm not happy about that at all i'm going to bundle up wear several jackets and uh maybe put my gloves in the microwave before i leave or something i don't know so i don't know if i can endorse that i don't know if has anybody actually done that put pieces of clothing in the microwave to warm them up. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to endorse that, but we are seeing plenty of people out here who are really bundled up, heeding that warning because they are walking out here in these very cold temperatures. And speaking of that, you know, a lot of the school districts, they really don't want kids out walking to school or waiting at these bus stops. And so many of them have decided to delay one, two, three hours, and some have actually closed. We have all of those closures scrolling at the bottom of your screen. You can also look up your school district on our website, CBSPhilly.com. I do want to note, though, that we've not yet heard from Philadelphia or the Archdiocese schools about their plans for today. So, so far, they're starting on time. But for now, we're live from Center City. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, have you ever heard of that microwave in clothes? No, that was a first for me. Have you ever put your clothing <laughs> no. in a microwave? No. No. I don't okay. know if that's safe. Yeah, just as long as there's no metal zippers or something on there. Thanks, Trang.